about a half a teaspoon of whole black peppercorns and whoops missed one and a quarter teaspoon of the red peppercorns now I have to tell you that if anyone out there has a nut allergy you want to leave the pink peppercorns out because they are related to the cashew nut so if you have a nut allergy you've just eliminated this so no pink peppercorns for you you could use just all black peppercorn if you wanted to and then we want some coarse salt about a half a teaspoon goes in and then you just whiz that up until it's a powder you want to get it into a powder I just love this little gadget yeah that's that's all of it so that's our mixture so now I'm going to just going to set that aside so you need about one and a half cups of beer well, that's going to go in there's our beer and we want about a teaspoon of sugar I mean salt excuse me and a tablespoon of brown sugar that goes in so now we just mix this around mix that around until all of that brown sugar dissolves so now we're going to put our shrimp in this mixture so for this particular recipe you want two pounds of shrimp large shrimp look on the bag because oh, shrimp is sized like eggs you know everything is relative so I would say that about two pounds of large shrimp can be anywhere from 21 to 30 shrimp all right so that's dissolved nicely so now let me get the shrimp which are in the refrigerator okay and here they are it's our large shrimp you see and they are already peeled and deveined so we want to add them to our marinade just put them in your marinade and you can count them as I'm putting them in here to make sure that I I told you the truth about the number of shrimp that we have here and I really love this dish because it's it's healthy it's different the sauce is really interesting and we're going to serve it with some farro and I'm going to show you what to do with that in a minute so all the shrimp go in and now we cover this I'm going to wash my hands first we cover this with a piece of plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator all right so there's my plastic wrap I'm going to let this sit around for a couple hours and you know you could go back and move it around with a spoon toss the shrimp back and forth so that everything is covered in they go so we want to bring the chicken broth to a boil once we bring it to a boil then we're going to add the farro all right the chicken broth is at a boil I'm going to add the farro and just give that a quick stir and now this has got to cook until all of this liquid is absorbed so that's going to take I would say as the crow flies about five to seven minutes so put it on medium low you don't want it bubbly bubbly boiling but just kind of gently boiling so I'm going to put the cover on I'm going to watch it and while that's cooking we're going to deal with the leeks so I'm just going to we need a half a cup for this I might put in a little bit more just because I like leeks so you cut them up you can thinly slice them or dice them if you want to and this is going to give added flavor to our shrimp dish you don't like onions or leeks well then you can just leave them out 
I have a hefty tablespoon of olive oil in here, extra virgin olive oil, and put the leeks in. You really want to just get those soft, but you got to watch them because they burn very easily. So you keep an eye on them. So here are our shrimp that have been marinating in beer. So now all of this is going to go into the pan with the leeks because we want that sauce. This is kind of served in a soup bowl. So very carefully. Get it all in. And the nice thing about this recipe is that these shrimp are going to cook in a very few minutes. As soon as they turn pink, they are done. So maybe in about three or four minutes, these will be ready.